Hello! So, our topic for today will be factoring the sum and difference of two cubes. Andito yung mga formulas na gagamitin natin. We have x raised to 3 minus y raised to 3 will be equal to the quantity of x minus y multiplied by the quantity of x raised to 2 plus xy plus y raised to 2. And we have x raised to 3 plus y raised to 3 is equal to the quantity of x plus y multiplied by the quantity of x raised to 2 minus xy plus y raised to 2. Okay, kung papansinin nyo, um, yung topic natin, factoring the sum and difference of two cubes. So, ibig sabihin may dalawa tayong cubes or yung ibig sabihin nun ay nakaraise sa 3 or may cube root siya na tinatawag natin. So, paano ba masasabi na cube root? Halimbawa, we have x times x times x. Ibig sabihin, tatlong beses na minultiply sa sarili niya. So, ito ay equal sa x raised to 3. So, kapag numbers naman, we have, for example, 2 times 2 times 2. So, kapag ni-raise natin yan, we have 2 raised to 3. So, ang sagot niyan ay 2 times 2, 4 times 2 is 8. So, ibig sabihin, ang cube root ng 8 ay 2. So, ganun yun. Okay, so, balik tayo dun sa formulas. Okay, kung mapapansin nyo, dito sa formula natin, ang pinagkaiba lang na itong una tsaka nung pangalawa is yung sign dun sa sagot nila. So, tatandaan natin kapag ang pinafactor natin minus ang nasa gitna or negative sign, ang susundan nating um, form ng sagot o yung pagkakaayos ng sign ay negative, positive, positive. So, tandaan natin, pag negative yung sign, ang magiging sagot ay negative, positive, positive. Okay, pag positive naman yung nasa gitna, itong pangalawa, ang magiging sagot niya ay positive, negative, positive. Okay, so kapag positive yung nasa gitna, ang magiging sagot ay positive, negative, positive. So, yun lang yung kailangan nating tandaan and makakapag-factor na tayo. Siyempre, may mga steps din tayong susundan. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so ito na yung mga steps na sinasabi ko. We have steps in factoring sum and difference of two cubes. Number one, get the cube root of each cube. Number two, using the operation between the cubes, obtain a binomial factor using the cube roots in step one. And number three, form the second trinomial factor as follows. A, square the first cube root. B, multiply the two. And C, square the second cube root. Okay, so para mas maintindihan yung mga steps na yan, i-perform natin or gawin natin. Okay, so let's have example number one. So, we are asked to factor x raised to 3 plus 8. Okay, sundan lang natin itong mga steps. So, yung gagawin natin para sa first step, get the cube root of each cube. Okay, so let's start. Cube root ng x raised to 3. Ibig sabihin, ano yung pinagmultiply dyan para makuha yung x raised to 3. Ang tatlong beses sa sarili niya. Siyempre, we have x. Kasi x Pag iasusulat natin yan, x times x times x. So, x raised to 3. Kaya, ang cube root ng x raised to 3 ay x. Then, we have, next is 8. So, anong number na kapag tatlong beses mong minultiply sa sarili niya, ang makukuha natin ay 8. So, we have, we have 2. Because, 2 times 2 times 2, ayan, yung 2, minultiply natin ng tatlong beses sa sarili niya, makukuha natin itong 8. So, 2 times 2, 4, tapos times 2, 8. Okay, so, ang cube root ng x raised to 3 ay x, ang cube root ng um, 8 ay 2. Okay, then, ito yung sign nila, positive. Okay, so, tapos na tayo dun sa step number 1. Okay, punta na tayo sa step number 2. 
using the operation between the cubes, obtain a binomial factor using the cube roots in step number 1. Okay, so ibig sabihin, ito, yung nakuha natin, binomial yan, kasi meron tayong dalawang terms. So, yung x tsaka yung positive 2. So, yun na yun. So, yun na yun. Kukunin na natin x plus 2. So, ibig sabihin, ito na yung unang factor natin. Then, next, doon na tayo sa trinomial. Tapos na tayo dito sa step number 2. Punta na tayo sa step number 3. Okay, so, kunin na natin yung second factor niya, which is trinomial. Trinomial, ibig sabihin, tatlong terms. Okay, so, susundan lang natin kanina, sinabi ko na kapag positive yung nasa gitna, dun sa formula natin, ang magiging format niya ay positive, negative, positive. Okay, so, ibig sabihin, nandito na yung positive natin, ayan, so, yung, dal, yung sa trinomial natin, ang magiging operation niya ay, eto na yung sa binomial natin, di ba? Positive. Okay, so, yung sa trinomial natin, yung nasa gitna ng operation nila or sign nila is negative positive. Okay, punta na tayo sa step 3. Form the second trinomial factor as follows. Square the first cube root. Okay, so, eto yung unang cube root natin, yung x. Squared daw natin. So, ibig sabihin, x raised to 2 yun. Okay, ano kasi yung magiging sign nung una? Negative. So, lalagay natin negative. Then, punta na tayo sa letter B. Multiply the 2. Ibig sabihin, ito kasi dito tayo magbe-base itong, itong una. So, i-multiply natin to x times 2. x times 2. So, ang magiging sagot ay 2x. Tapos, kailangan ulit natin ng sign. Yung last na sign natin ay positive dapat. So, lalagay natin positive. Then, letter C na tayo, square the second cube root. So, ito yung second cube root. So, 2 raised to 2. So, square natin, 2 raised to 2. Or, ang ibig sabihin niya ay, 2 times 2 is equal to 4. So, ibig sabihin, 4 yung nandyan sa dulo. Okay, ito yung unang cube root natin. Ito yung pangalawang cube root. Huwag tayong malilito doon. So, sa letter A, square the first cube root, kaya in-square natin yung x. Then, nilagay natin yung sign niya na negative based dun sa formula natin. Tapos, minultiply natin yung dalawang roots natin. So, x times 2, kaya nakuha yung 2x. Yung negative, galing siya dun sa formula. Then, yung positive dito, ayan, galing din siya dun sa formula natin. Then, yung 4, eto na siya, yung sa letter C, square the second cube root, which is 2, in squared natin, kaya 2 times 2, kaya nakuha yung 4. So, isulat lang natin ng maayos, ang final uh, factor natin ay eto, x plus 2 times x raised to 2 minus 2x plus 4. So, yan yung factor ng x raised to 3 plus Okay, next. For example, number 2, we have 8. Y raised to 3 minus 27. Okay, so gawin natin ulit yung step number 1. Get the cube root of each cube. So, eto. Tapos, yan. Okay, so ano ang cube root ng 8? Y raised to 3. Doon muna tayo sa 8. Mag-isip ulit tayo ng isang number na kapag pinag-multiply natin, Nang tatlong beses sa sarili niya, ang makukuha natin ay 8. So, gaya dun sa example number 1, we have 2. Bakit? Kasi, if we multiply 2 times 2 times 2, you will get 8. Okay, then we have y raised to 3. So, ibig sabihin y. Kasi, y times y times y will give you y raised to 3. Then, next, we have 27. Ano yung number na kapag minultiply mo ng tatlong beses sa sarili niya, ang makukuha mo 27. So, we have 3. Kasi, 3 times 3 times 3 ay 27. So, 3. Okay, tapos na tayo sa step number 1. Punta na tayo sa step number 2. Using the operation between the cubes, obtain a binomial factor using the cube roots in step 1. Okay, ibig sabihin itong mga nakuha nating cube roots... Gagawin lang natin gagawin lang nating binomial at ilalagay natin yung sign na nasa gitna. 
So, ibig sabihin, we have 2y, then yung operation or yung sign, which is negative, then 3. Okay, so yan na yung unang factor natin. Okay, tapos na tayo sa step number 2. Then, step number 3, form the second trinomial factor as follows. Okay, then kukunin na natin yung susunod na factor which is the trinomial. Pag sinabi nating trinomial, tatlong terms yun. Okay, so eto siya, kaya may ABC dyan. Then, susundan lang natin yung pattern ng formula which is kapag negative yung sign dyan, so negative, ang magiging sagot ng factor is negative, positive, positive. So, itong negative na yan, tapos na. Dito tayo sa binomial. Then, positive, positive. Ibig sabihin, dyan sa trinomial na gagawin natin mamaya. Dalawang positive yung magiging sign. Okay, so let's start. Dito tayo sa letter A. Square the first cube root. So, ito yung unang cube root natin. Squared down natin siya. So, ang ibig sabihin lang nun, we have 2y, then raised to 2. Siyempre, ang sign ay positive. Then, letter B na tayo, multiply the 2, yung sinasabing 2 dyan, ito, yung 2y, tsaka yung 3. Mumultiply daw natin. So, we have 2y times 3. Then, positive ulit yung sign. Then, for letter C, square the second cube root. Ang second cube root natin ay yung 3. So, we have 3 squared. Okay, then simplify lang natin yan. Okay, so we have 2y raised to 2. So, ang magiging sagot natin dyan ay 4y raised to 2. Okay, eto, tinimes lang natin 2 times 2, kaya may 4, then y raised to 2. Plus, 2y times 3, it will give you 2 times 3 is 6, tapos may y tayo, 6y. Then we have 3 squared, 3 times 3 is 9. Okay, so ito na yung trinomial natin. Then, pagsasamahin lang natin yung binomial at saka yung trinomial. So, we have 2y minus 3. Then, 4y raised to 2 plus 6y plus 9. Okay, so ibig sabihin, ito na yung factor ng 8y raised to 3 minus 27.